Hello, my name is Nigel Bowden, and I'd like to welcome you to episode one of the Wi-Fi for Beginners podcast. This is a series of podcasts discussing the fundamentals of wireless LAN networking. In each episode, we'll take a look at a different aspect of Wi-Fi to build your understanding and knowledge of wireless LAN networks. Each episode will be accompanied by a set of slides which describe the topics uh, that we've covered in that episode in a little bit more detail. And uh, you don't really need to review these slides as you're listening to the podcast. You could uh, take a look at them a little bit later on to review some of the material that we've been discussing. Uh, just give you a little bit of a visual aid to more fully understand some of the concepts uh, and the equipment we've been talking about. And also all of the recordings and the supporting material for the podcast can be found at wifi4beginners.com. That's all one word, wifi4beginners.com. So uh, before we begin, just a little bit about myself. As I say, my name is Nigel Bowden. I'm uh, based in the UK, been in the IT and telecoms industry for uh, over 30 years and um, been specialising in wireless LANs for in excess of five years now. Got a few industry certifications including the uh, CWNP um, Certified Wireless Network Expert um, qualification. I've also got some Cisco qualifications including the CCMP Routing and Switching, CCMP Wireless and a few other bits and pieces of uh, various wireless vendor certifications. My role uh, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, revolves around design, consultancy and deployment of wireless LANs. Uh, they're mainly based on Cisco at the moment, the types of wireless LANs I'm deploying, but this is going to be a, a vendor neutral podcast. We're going to talk about wireless LANs in a very um, generic um, based theoretical sense that can apply to many different types of uh, uh, vendors wireless lands. Um, I'm fairly active as well on social media. You can find me on Twitter, and my hand, my uh, Twitter handle is at Wi-Fi Nigel, and you can also find me uh, on my blog at Wi-Fi Nigel dot dot com, where I post a few articles about wireless LAN networking. Just a little bit about the aims of the podcast series just to see if this is uh, something which is going to be useful to you. Um, it's going to be a series of audio presentations. Hopefully it's going to be fairly easy to understand. I'm going to try and uh, aim it fairly and squarely at beginners um, uh, who are trying to find out a little bit more about wireless LANs. And hopefully it's going to be something you could listen to maybe on your daily commute or while you're driving or running. Um, so you can uh, just... Uh, listen to it and learn uh, rather than having to uh, sit in front of a video and uh, and watch uh, you know video presentations. Some people prefer to consume uh, in that way. I'm a big fan of podcasts myself, so that's why I thought I'd put this together. But as I say, we have got the slides to, to back it up if you do want uh, more of an audio-visual experience. In terms of who this is aimed at, it's most likely that it's going to be people who are already pretty familiar with wired networking. So if you're already working with routers and switches and firewalls, that type of thing, it's going to be people who are maybe IT professionals, maybe students who are studying uh, IT and networking generally, um, then this is probably uh, the sort of person who's going to benefit the most from this. Uh, and because of this, uh, I'm assuming a reasonable amount of fundamental networking knowledge. So for instance, I would expect you to understand the fundamentals of the seven layer OSI model, uh, a little bit about ethernet, switching and routing, a little bit about IP addressing and local area networks in general. So hopefully if this uh, sounds like your sort of uh, specialist area, you may well get quite a bit out of this uh, podcast, hopefully. And we are really looking at enterprise level professional wireless networks, not really looking at the home environment. So if you maybe uh, work in a uh, commercial enterprise type environment where you've already got a wired network and you need to deploy a wireless network, or you've already got one, just want to understand a little bit more about it, then this could certainly be for you. Um, just moving on to a very brief discussion about the topics we're going to be discussing in this series of podcasts. I'm envisaging that we're going to cover 10 um, particular areas of wireless LAN networking. I'm not going to cover them all in, in 10 episodes. I'm hoping to keep each episode probably to about 15-20 minutes just to make it uh, consumable. Nothing worse than hearing somebody droning on for an hour or two at a time. But we're going to have a look uh, initially uh, in, in today's 
uh, initial podcast, we're going to be looking at the what exactly do we mean by Wi-Fi, what is a Wi-Fi network. Uh, in uh, module two, we're going to be moving on to looking at the uh, basics of RF. So we're going to be looking at things like uh, frequency, proper, um, frequency and amplitude and, and signal propagation, things like that. Um, module three, we're going to be moving on to look at wireless access points. Um, epi- um, sorry, module four, we're going to be taking a little bit more uh, of an in-depth look at uh, RF, radio frequency theory. It's a pretty important topic when you're talking about wireless lands, and it can be a little bit uh, a little bit dry and a little bit difficult to grasp, but uh, I think it's worth covering it in a reasonable amount of depth because it will really help you in understanding when we're looking at uh, wireless design uh, and the way that wireless LAN networks work later on. In Module 5, we're going to be having a look at at uh, Wi-Fi clients in module six, we're going to be looking at wireless standards bodies. Uh, module seven, we're going to be looking at uh, wireless control and management. Uh, module eight, we're going to be looking at wireless security, which is obviously very important um, with wireless networks. Uh, in module nine, we're going to be looking at Wi-Fi network design, looking at the basics of how we design a Wi-Fi network. And in Module 10, we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at how you could become a Wi-Fi guru, and we're going to be particularly looking at uh, study and certifications there to further improve your Wi-Fi knowledge. So hopefully it's something that's going to be of interest to you, and um, you know, you're going to get quite a bit of benefit from this. Okay, so in this particular uh, episode or module, uh, we're going to be taking a quick look at the following areas. We're going to be having a look at exactly what is a Wi-Fi network, what do we mean by a wireless client? What do we mean by a wireless access point? What is a wireless controller? Um, a little bit about Wi-Fi security, and then, then finally, very briefly touching on wireless LAN standards. Okay, so if you're following along with the uh, with the slides, I've uh, clicked through to uh, slide seven at the moment, and this is where we're going to start jumping into. Uh, at Wi-Fi theory and get the ball rolling on learning about Wi-Fi networks. So what is a Wi-Fi network? Um, The word Wi-Fi is actually uh, a brand name of the Wi-Fi Alliance. Um, um, The Wi-Fi Alliance are an industry uh, organization responsible for interoperability, uh, testing of Wi-Fi devices uh, and equipment and they also do a little bit of standards work as well. They're not the main wireless LAN standards uh, body, as we'll see later on, but they do uh, do a little bit of standards work as well. And in terms of a definition, what do we mean by a Wi-Fi network? It is more correctly known as a wireless LAN. So it's a, it's a wireless local area network. So if you're already familiar with local area networks, you understand how they hang together, the sort of area that they cover, the services that they provide. It's it's, it's very similar to, to a wired network, but we're obviously doing it wirelessly. It's hopefully a fairly self-evident concept, but uh, but it, it is just, you can think of it as an extension of, of a wired network using wireless communications. Okay, And the word Wi-Fi network, or the phrase Wi-Fi network, and um, the phrase wireless LAN, I'll use them interchangeably, I probably already have numerous times, I use them interchangeably when we're talking about the same concept, which is this wireless local area network. So Wi-Fi network, wireless LAN, means the same thing, we're referring to the same uh, concept. And precisely what is a wireless LAN or a Wi-Fi network, you know, what separates it from similar technologies such as Bluetooth or Zigbee or any other wireless technology that you can think of. And the thing that defines it specifically as a Wi-Fi network is the fact that the network conforms to the IEEE 802.11 standard. So you've potentially heard about other IEEE standards, for for instance, Ethernet 802.3 and the token ring was 802.5. Well, 802.11 is the set of standards that defines what we mean by a wireless LAN network. Okay, and the wireless LAN network itself, as I've already sort of alluded to, very similar to a wired network in terms of the fact that it is a LAN uh, which is generally constrained to maybe the floor of a building, maybe through an entire building, maybe across a campus, but is a sort of fairly localised area um, providing um, uh, network connectivity to, to various services that an organisation 
uh, requires access to. So um, I'm going to move on to slide 8 now, if you are following along with the slides, and, and I'm going to introduce probably one of the key sort of concepts that we'll keep referring back to in this series. I thought what we really need to sort of understand how things hang together when we're deploying a wireless LAN. We need some sort of reference model that we can all understand. So need a little bit of a mental pitch and potentially of, of what uh, what we're actually talking about here. So I thought I'd refer to a standard wired network deployment, which hopefully if you uh, if you meet the prerequisites that I sort of outlined earlier, you will have uh, a good uh, working knowledge of what we mean by a wired network and hopefully you're familiar with the terms uh, the core layer, distribution layer and the edge layer of a, a wired network. So in the core we typically have very high speed um, high performance switches which which form the core of our network typically they will be just switching at layer 2 uh, then below the core of a wired network we've got the uh, distribution layer and that tends to be again fairly high speed switches there but they're providing uh, layer 3 um, switching capabilities and then the distribution switch uh, connects through to uh, the edge switch where we connect through to our uh, layer 2 edge switches and at the edge which is this is where we've got all of our uh, user devices such as uh, printers, laptops, uh, PCs, that type of thing, all all our wired devices which connect into the network uh, and can access the services that we um, that, that we'd like to provide across our network for our users. So so that's our standard reference model. So we're talking about the core distribution edge reference model uh, of a network. Um, and to actually um, explain how we overlay our wire our wireless. Um, network components onto that reference model so you can understand exactly how we deploy it. I'm just going to extend that model very slightly. If you imagine at the edge of the network where we've got our edge switches, our layer 2 edge switches where our printers and uh, laptops, PCs etc all connect onto. If you imagine onto one of those edge switches you maybe went along to your local um, computer store and bought yourself a, a, a cheap little desktop switch uh, maybe with 12, 24 ports, and you actually took that switch and connected its uplink into one of the edge switches. Okay, so we just think of that for a, for a moment. You've got a, a little, uh, maybe a Netgear. Let's, let's say we've got a little Netgear uh, desktop switch. We connect it into one of the edge switches of our, our core distribution edge uh, model uh, network. Not something you would generally recommend or do, but uh, for the sake of uh, our example, let's imagine we do that. So what we do, we actually connect our Netgear switch into the edge and connect a number of laptops onto the um, onto the new Netgear switch. And so if you imagine what's happening now, we've actually got a number of wired devices connected into our little Netgear switch and they're all having to share the bandwidth which is available on the uplink into the uh, the main edge switch uh, of the network. Okay, so hopefully that's fairly fairly clear. We've got a, a little Netgear switch plugged into the edge of our network, and all of the uh, devices which are connected to the Netgear having to share the maybe maybe we've got a one gig link up to the uh, to the main network edge switch. So they're all having to contend for the bandwidth which is available on the uplink, and this is a very useful comparison to uh, when we start to think about deploying access points in a wireless network. Okay, so uh, in case you're following along on the uh, on the slides, that was uh, slide 9 that we were looking at there. Um, and so we then extend that analogy. In, instead of having that Netgear switch where all of the devices connecting to it have to share one uplink into the edge of the main network, if you imagine now we actually swap out that little Netgear switch for uh, a wireless access point. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, you've got some concept at this point of a, if you've got a wireless access point at home, maybe your uh, wireless router, maybe you've got a little Netgear wireless router or similar from your uh, cable or DSL type connection. So imagine we're connecting that uh, into the edge of the network, and now instead of having wired clients which are connected to our Netgear switch, we've now got a number of wireless clients which are connecting to our access points which is feeding into the edge of our core distribution layer um, network. And this provides a very good analogy 
of how we in the real world connect up uh, our wireless access points into um, a, a, an existing enterprise network uh, and we can start to think about some of the concepts of the wireless clients using that access point having to share the uplink between the uh, wireless access point and the edge switch that they connect into. Okay, so that's going to be our, our reference model throughout. So if you can sort of keep that network model, those concepts in your mind when we're uh, we're talking about Wi-Fi networking uh, and the way we deploy it, that that's going to be our uh, sort of reference model. You have a nice mental picture of how things are going to hang together, and we can talk about the various concepts, the limitations, and the way we have to design around some of those limitations. Okay, well, I've noticed we're actually coming up to the 15-minute uh, mark now uh, on this particular podcast, so I'm going to wind it up for now. We're going to continue talking about this in the next episode. We'll carry on with uh, Module 1, where we're actually discussing the basics of uh, uh, Wi-Fi networking and so uh, hopefully this has been quite useful to you um, I shall be uh, uh, posting uh, another episode in the very near future hopefully where we'll continue talking about these particular concepts um, if you do want to uh, get hold of the slides and any other material which I post up as I say don't forget to get along to the website which is Wi-Fi for beginners.com and you can see all of the audio recordings slides um, I'm going to post a few little um, tests at the end of each module so you can do a little online test and test your own knowledge and there'll be all sorts of recommendations for books and uh, all sorts of other bits and pieces uh, to learn more about wireless lands posted up there uh, during the course of these um, this podcast so hopefully this has been of use to you and um, I look forward to joining you on the next episode so uh, take care and bye for now